Tensions in supply chain uh, disruptions continue to reshape the geopolitical landscape, viewers. Rare earth elements have emerged as a critical focus for India's strategic planning. Despite holding some of the world's largest reserves, India remains heavily dependent on imports for these vital materials that power everything from uh, electric vehicles to defense systems. Today we have with us uh, uh, Amit Bhandari, Senior Fellow from, uh, for Energy Investments and Connectivity to shed light on India's rare earth landscape. My colleague Sanjana also spoke to Amit Bhandari, Senior, uh, you know, so, let, so let's just go across to that bite. Rare earth is a group of 17 elements uh, and this entire group is called rare earth minerals and the important ones that we want to, uh, we are interested in are elements like neodymium and uh, uh, neodymium specifically and dyspropium. Uh, these elements are used to make some extremely powerful magnets, the kind that you would use in a headphone or the kind that you would use in an electric motor, especially the ones that are there in electric vehicles. Uh, rare earth magnets are also used in uh, applic renewable energy applications such as windmills. Uh, now, uh, the problem is that uh, these uh, specific elements, neodymium and dyspropium, uh, I think more than 90%, probably more than 99% of them are produced and uh, mined and processed in China. So, uh, China essentially has a leverage or should I say, uh, it has a way to bring these industries to a halt by stopping the supply of magnets. And this is a vulnerability that has been flagged off for a very long time. And it is only now that I think India is taking note of it. There are certain things, I said neodymium is a substance you use to make magnets. Uh, there are certain kind of, uh, there are certain applications where only a neodymium magnet will work. And uh, uh, right now, uh, and this is a this is not a this is not a substance or these are not applications which are very remote or very uh, uh, you know very uncommon. These are applications which are uh, used in. Uh, so you require a neodymium magnet for an electric vehicle. You require those uh, high end magnets for headphones. So electronics, electric vehicles, windmills, all of these applications require neodymium. Now, we have in the last uh, five to seven years, uh, India has ex aggressively pushed for uh, adoption of electric vehicles. So we have an industry which is very central to our manufacturing ambitions. It is one of the few large manufacturing enterprises left in India. And this entire industry has become, has, is dependent on one substance for which the supply chain is completely concentrated. If you have a supply chain, uh, let's say 99% of which is coming from one source, a disruption is a matter of when, not if. And in this case, we have a we have an entity controlling that supply chain. We have a we have a we have a country China which controls supply chain, which has shown itself to be not a very friendly player so many times in the past. So now that this disruption has happened, we should not be surprised. Uh, this is not the first time China has used its leverage on rare earths. It has done that that in the past against other countries. So this disruption should not be a surprise at all.